Olympic gold medal gymnast Mitch Gaylord lives in Bee Cave these days where he and his wife Valentina run a fitness studio. They are especially concerned about the health and lives of children. Two of their own children suffer from dangerous peanut allergies. In fact, 160,000 Texas children suffer from such food allergies that could turn life-threatening in an instant. But Texas is one of a handful of states that does not mandate or enable public schools to keep a drug on hand to save their lives. KXA's David Scott reports the Gaylords are working with the Texas legislature to change that. Mitch and Valentina will never forget the day their little Luke went into his first anaphylaxic shock. They had no idea he and his sister were peanut allergic. All of a sudden, he took his plate and threw it off the table. And immediately, we looked at him like, that's so odd for him to do that. He started swelling up immediately. And we just panicked. He was vomiting. It's a scary thing, called 911 and it, he was going into that, uh, that bad place. Most states have provisions for public school systems to keep the drug epinephrine on hand, ready to administer the moment an allergic student goes into seizure, unable to breathe. They were shocked to learn Texas is not one of them. I don't understand why any school or any restaurant or any place that serves food would not want a life-saving device in their establishment. I don't understand that. It's absolutely critical. I think it's an absolute necessity. It's like, a, you know, it's a fire extinguisher. If there's a fire, God forbid, anywhere, you've got that as a protection device. Mitch showed me how easy the epinephrine pin is to administer to someone. Just take seconds. The Gaylords have made epinephrine arrangements for Luke and Valletta at their school, but worry about the rest of Texas. So they're lobbying the legislature to make epinephrine available across the board. To them, it's a no-brainer. Every second counts. Your child can go into asphalt shock within seconds and can be fatal within minutes. So you have to react. This whole thing is about parents wanting to feel their children are safe when they're at school and away from them because we can't police them 24-7, nor do we want to. David Scott, KXAN News. The Texas Senate has approved a bill mandating epinephrine in public and charter schools if a district can afford it. And a similar measure is still in a House committee where the Gaylords hope to testify. It's a measure that could save lives. One in 13 children suffer life-threatening food allergies. One quarter of those children will suffer their first seizure in a school. A recent study published in the New England Journal of Medicine might put a big dent in the number of future peanut allergy sufferers. The study gave one peanut group, uh, one group peanut protein at a very early age, about three to four months. A second group received the more conventional practice of introducing peanuts later when a child's about three years old. The results are surprising. Found out they had like an 80% reduction in peanut allergy in the people who had it, who got introduced to peanut early than those who did not. So that's why it's kind of a game changer on how we're thinking that maybe now we should reintroduce it early versus holding it. It's important to note that every child in the study was carefully screened by an allergist. This is not something to try at home. You should consult a doctor before trying any treatment for food allergies.